When someone's heart is severely damaged, doctors may be able to implant a mechanical pump, sometimes as a permanent assist to the heart or as a temporary measure until a transplant. Now, for the first time in the United States, experts are testing a new device designed to eliminate one of the bigger risks. George Mac McAllister is a novice beekeeper and loves keeping up his small family farm. It almost all came to a screeching halt. It was just a struggle to do things, even the simplest things. Five years ago, Mac suffered two massive heart attacks, and doctors told him he had congestive heart failure. He would need a transplant to survive. In December, Mac became the first person in the United States to use a new ventricular assistant device, or VAD, called the EVA Heart. It is a continuous flow VAD, which means that blood constantly enters the pump and is continuously pushed out into the circulation. The EVA Heart releases a special fluid that flushes the pump and keeps the blood from clotting, protecting patients from one potential VAD side effect. The thing that we get worried about is these blood clots breaking off and going to the brain and causing a stroke. And that's a scary word. The EVA Heart is larger than other pumps, and despite being tethered to wires and a battery, Mac feels better than he has in years. It's just more like him. It's just, I like it. Our outlook for the future is very bright now. It's a bridge to help Mac's ailing heart while he waits for a new one.